Okay, so this is the Moles of Chalk Lab. Hopefully you've watched the video. If not, please do so. Um, so I measured my piece of chalk, and then I made a drawing, and then I found the mass afterwards. And we're gonna figure out how many moles of chalk were used. So the first thing you'll have to do is subtract to figure out how much was indeed used. So just subtract. Okay, and that's gonna be important. Chalk's chemical formula is calcium carbonate. Write that here. So you're going to need reference table E. Okay, <clears throat> so I'll help you with this one. So calcium is a plus 2 charge. I know that because I look on periodic table. Carbonate is on table E. That's CO3 with a minus 2 charge. So look at that. The positive and the negative have the same numeric value, so it's equal. So I don't need to crisscross. So my final formula should just be CaCO3. Determine the GFM or gram formula mass of calcium carbonate in the space below. Show all work in units. Okay, I will get you started, but I will not finish this for you. So this is, again, just going to help you get started. So when you go from uh, to GFM, you take your formula, and then you need to go to the periodic table, and you need to figure out each of their masses, and you're going to add them together. If there is a subscript, like in the case of oxygen, you're going to multiply that 3, in this case, by whatever the mass is. So, calcium has a mass, and we're going to round these, is a mass of 40 grams per mole. Carbon has a mass of 12 grams per mole. And oxygen has a mass of 16, but there are three of them. So what you need to do is add those together, and you're going to get an answer and the units will be grams per mole. Calculate the moles of chalk, and again, you need to figure this out. Uh, calculate the moles of chalk used in the drawing in the space below. Show all work and include units. Your final answer should be rounded to the proper number of sig figs. Um, I'm gonna have that be for the honors only. For the college prep chem, you can just round to something appropriate, maybe a couple decimal places, nothing a million decimal places. So again, if you're going from grams, which we have, to moles, we're going to divide by GFM. So let me go back to my blue. We had 0 0.08 grams of chalk. We need to divide by GFM. I like dimensional analysis. In one mole, you're going to put your answer from here, and I'll make that a green, so that goes here. So you're going to divide by whatever you get there, and your answer should be, because this will be in grams, so then those are gone, you're going to have blah 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 moles. Now, if you are in the honors class and you need to figure out how many sig figs, technically this would be one sig fig, I don't really want you to go to one sig fig, so let's just, let's just say nah. So get your answer there. Okay, so now let's go to the back. I'm not a fan of that green. Show all work and round proper to sig figs. This is going to be for honors only. Um, college prep, you can just round to something appropriate. How many moles are in 25.0 grams of water? So again, you should be using your mole map. Um, we're having grams, and we need to go to moles. Anytime you go from grams to something like moles, you're going to divide. So we're going to divide by the GFM. So the first thing we need to do is to find the GFM of water. So this is 2 times 1, which is the mass of hydrogen. And this is 16. You're going to add those up. That's going to be your GFM, right? And so I'll start you out. This is 18 units or grams per mole. So if you have 25 grams, whoops, if you have 25 grams, which if you're in honors, it's three sig figs, and you need to go to moles, you divide by GFM. And you're going to get an answer, and you're going to have your units of moles. How many grams are in 4.5 moles of lithium oxide? So again, we're doing grams to moles, which you're going to divide by your GFM. Uh, if you're in the honors class, oops, I, I wanted this to be highlighted. Uh, I guess I'll take your sig figs from there so that's what should be helpful <coughs> we're going to divide 4.5 by the GFM of the lithium oxide 
which I will not do for you. Sorry. How many molecules are in 23 moles of oxygen? So to go from moles to anything, you're going to multiply. This is going to be multiplying by Avogadro's number, which is 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd. So you're going to have 23.0 times the quantity 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd. You're going to get an answer. Your final answer, if it's in sign notation, should be proper scientific notation, and your units will be molecules. Don't get lazy. You can't abbreviate molecules as moles because, hmm, that's something else. How many moles are in this many molecules? So again, if you have molecules and you need to go back to moles, we will need to divide by Avogadro's number. So we're going to have 3.4 times 10 to the 23rd divided by 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd. This is easy because this is just going to cancel out to a 1. Uh, so we're going to just do 3.4 divided by 6.02, get that answer, and your units are going to be moles, okay? How many molecules are in 25 grams of ammonia, NH3? This is a two-step problem, so use your mole map. I'm given grams, and I can't go directly to molecules, so you'll notice I'll have to go to moles, and then from moles I'll go to molecules. So, to go from grams to moles, we're gonna divide by GFM, and to go from moles to molecules, we're going to multiply by Avogadro's number, 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd. So I'm going to need to find the GFM of NH3 over here. Remember, this is just 3 times that, and this is here. And add them up. And then just keep going from there. Um, if you're using, if you're in the honors class, you've got to take your sig figs from here, sig figs from here, sig figs from here, yeah, sig figs from here. In the last one, uh, two-step two problems, but it's actually just the reverse of number five. So we're going to go from molecules to grams. We have to take a pit stop at moles, and then this is grams. So it's just the opposite operations. So if you're going from molecules to moles, we'll divide by GFM. And from moles to grams, we're going to multiply, multiply. Excuse me. Whoops. This is wrong. We're going to divide by Avogadro's number, 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd here, and then we're going to multiply by GFM. Okay? Um, yeah, and your units here will be, no, grams. grams. All right, I started you out. If you still have questions, please, please, please reach out to your teacher. Um, we are more than willing to help. Good luck.